welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Crafty Jojo and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I want to show you how I created this box. It's a sliding box, a double slider box and um, it has a compartment that is covered with acetate and it's basically a shadow box that has this sliding belly band and I'm going to show you how I created one of these but I'm going to go for a different color scheme so today it's going to be berry burst and I'm probably going to do some different heat embossing, but this is what we're doing. Okay, so what you will need is cardstock, and this is um, A4 cardstock, and this is a European measurement. Uh, the European A4, or precisely Dean A4 cardstock measurement, is different from the American A4, so this is slightly smaller. So this piece of cardstock actually measures precisely. 11 three quarters by eight and a quarter that's the measurement so you will need a4 cardstock european norm and you need to score this and um, you are going to score your box on all four sides um, at you starting can you see it yes you score your um, a4 cardstock at half an inch at one and a quarter inch one and three quarter inch and at two and a half inch and you do this on all four sides so you rotate and again you go half an inch all the way down one and a quarter which is here one and three quarters and two and a half and you rotate your cardstock and you go again half an inch one and a quarter inch one and three quarters two and a half and the last side again half an inch one and a quarter one and three quarters and two and a half and once you've done <coughs> excuse me Oh dear. <coughs> and once you <coughs> sorry. And once you've done this, um you put a fifth line in at the three inch mark and you only go down to the second score line. So at the three inch you go down to the second score line and you do this on all four sides, and that's your scoring for your shadow box done. So this is what you will have. You will have five score lines and the fifth goes only down to the second score line and now you're ready to cut it and the way you're going to cut this is um uh where is my pen my pen has disappeared all right hmm. just a second okay so how are you going to cut this you're going to cut this is the back side of my the inside of the box basically so you cut on this score line that is only down to the second score line then you cut diagonally and then you cut one score line down and this is the whole lot that you're going to take out and you repeat so you cut down on that short score line from there you cut diagonally you cut one score line down and then you cut like so and this whole lot comes out and you do this on all four sides so you need to cut this like so in preparation of assembling the box okay so i'm going to do this off camera for you and come back to you in a minute this is the shape you should have at this point this is what it looks like and i'm going to um before i'm going to assemble my box i'm going to stamp it with um, this big um floral design it's from the flourishing phrases stamp set and um, I am going to use this beautiful flourish and I'm going to stamp it with Versamark on the outside of my box and then going to heat emboss it in clear. So I'll need to get my Versamark. I'm going to charge my stamp, like load it. 
sorry for wobbling the camera about. So this is my stamp charged and I'm going to place it here and then in the, the other way around on the other side. Can you see it? And I'm going to heat emboss this and then I do the other sides. So this is what you get. And I'm going to do the next bit and I actually forgot to use my embossing buddy. This is um, taking out any fingerprints on your bit. So I'm going to actually do these two sides. Very nice art um, piece and <clears throat> quickly going to stamp this side. And then just make sure I cover as much. Yes, I like this. And I'm going to do the other side as well. And then I'm going to heat emboss that as well. And then do the last side. And then I come back to you after that. All right, here we go. So I'll put this away. Use my clear powder. See, this is what it looks like before it's set. So you just sprinkle the powder over it. And now it's ready to be heated up with the heat tool. And I'm going to do the last side and then I come back to you. Okay, so this is what you have got after you've embossed. I have already added a strip of double-sided sticky tape to the outside, um, close to the score line, but not on the score line. This is on the outside of your box, so you need to put in four strips of sticky tape. And to the inside, you are going to put it diagonally on your cutout bits here, on all four sides, as you can see. And now it's actually time to um, burnish and fold and assemble the box when you do this be careful that you don't rub off i'm actually using my finger that will be better and this last one can be crisp <clears throat> first one can be crisp second one needs a bit of tlc so does the third one so this is how you fold all your sides up And then you need to create a piece of cardstock that is the insert. And I'm actually going for a piece of black cardstock, which I have already embossed. And um, the insert measures two and a quarter by five three quarters. Two one quarter by five three quarters, and it's going to be the bottom of my box. And um, I've used the hexagonal um, textures embossing folder. I love it. And this is going to be the inside of my card. Uh, my box sorry this is not a card so here we go get all this then you start assembling your box and you start on one side completely random doesn't matter just make sure you start on one side and then carry on with the opposing side because that is important so this is what you do you fold it over inwards and this stands up like so and then you move on to the opposing side which is this side here and you do the same here so here we go. Fold it and stand it up. And we are going to do the third side. And after that, we have to put in our piece of black cardstock. I'm going to show you how I do this. So here we go. You put this down and you move this slightly to the outside while you slide this in and you slide that in and then you can when you're happy with your corners here you actually can press down and this is closing up your box giving you a pretty pattern on all three sides so this piece of cardstock that I have embossed is going to slide in like so and I'm going to use wet glue and um, I have used this embossing folder it's available at the Stampin' Up uh, in my webshop. You find the link to my webshop in the description box of this video. 
and um, you can browse uh, all the items, also the cardstock, like the Berry Birth cardstock that I've used here, you can buy there. And I would be more than pleased to welcome you as one of my valued customers in my web store. So here we go, I'm going to add some wet glue, wet glue, and I'm going to push this in before I close my box. The wet glue will still allow me to slide it about a bit. That's why I'm using wet glue, but it's completely up to you. It's personal preference. I prefer the wet glue because it allows some adjustments in case you need to adjust. So this is what we've got at this point. So just going to press this down and this gives a lot of texture looks makes the box look very interesting and the back side is completely clean nothing on it and the sides have your beautiful stamped and heat embossed design on it so this is the box the shadow box the insert already done the next thing you need is a piece of clear acetate and the acetate uh, that you are going to use measures seven and a quarter inch long and three and three quarter inch wide and you would need to score this and i'm going to use my paper trimmer for this and you score at three quarters on all four sides so just make sure you use the right bit so i'm using this mark here can you see it three quarters here because this is my one inch mark three quarters here and then I rotate it and I do three quarters here and three quarters here. And three quarters there. So this is what you get. It's slightly difficult to see, but you have, can you see this? I can't see if, if you can see. There's a corner here which needs to be taken out on all four sides so I'm going to use my paper snips and I'm just going to cut this corner out on all four sides and then I'm going to round my corners it's slightly tricky to see even when you're cutting I don't know if you can see it on the video what I'm doing here on taking the corners out and I found that using my little handheld punch that rounds corners is no good for acetate so i don't know i haven't tried it in my envelope punch board i'm actually going to do it freehand with a different scissors i'm using cuticle scissors these are my cuticle scissors and i'm just basically doing this by hand just round it and it actually helps if you hold it against the dark background because then you can see much better what you're doing so I'm rounding these corners by hand but you can try my acetate got stuck in my first attempt in my handheld corner punch so I gave up on that and I haven't tried in my envelope punch board so I don't know if that will work because at the end of the day it's not much work so this is what you get rounded corners this is a lot of waste and um, the next thing to do is burnish and fold which can be difficult on acetate as well so be careful that you don't split it because if you have scored too hard it'll eventually break on your score line so this is what you get and this is supposed to fit in here with ease and it does so this is what you get and you have your coverage done and the last bit that needs to be done is your belly band your wrap that goes around this and you need a piece of cardstock for this that measures 9 1 8 by 6 3 quarters and you need your scoreboard and um, you need to score at 3 quarters which is here at 1 and a half which is here at 5 
and at five three quarters. So here we go. Carefully burnish and fold. Take your box, wrap it around it. It does the job, it fits perfectly as you can see. So this is how you want to glue it together on this bit here. You're going to glue it together. But before we're going to do this, we are going to um, stamp and heat emboss again. This is what we have got at this point. I have heat embossed, stamped and heat embossed um, the flourish on this side. And then I turned my cardstock and did it on the other side. So that when my um, sliding belly band is um, closed, I have it the right way up or down on either side. There you go. So this is the next thing we need to do. We need to um, actually glue this around our box like so. And then I'm going to show you how you split it. All right. So here we go. Wet glue. Where is it? Just quickly going to add wet glue. Sorry to be off camera, but I can't lean forward I'm going to hit the camera so I'm going to add the glue so we got wet glue on this end I pop my box in I'll fold this up so basically what I'm trying to do is Just put this straight. That's why I prefer wet glue because it allows for corrections like the ones I'm doing now. And then I'm going to oops, rub some white stuff on it, which I do not want. <laughs> Sorry for that. Being a bit sarcastic here. All right. So once we've got this, we can take our box with our insert out. Make, uh, you know, here I have a slightly dodgy end, so I'm going to take this out by hand. Trying to get this straight. And it does not want to do what I want to do, so I'm going to use force. There you go. Off it is. So what you need to do next is you want a diagonal split across your box. So you're going to get your ruler out and you're going to measure two and a half inches from the left end and you make a mark and then you're going to turn your box and you measure again two and a half inches uh, wait a minute two and a half inches you fold it flat you've marked it here so you have to fold it flat and you mark two and a half inches when it's folded flat from the left which is here and then you get your paper trimmer out and you pop this in and you have a two and a half inch mark there and you have one here and this is going to be your you line it up here and there and this is going to be your diagonal cut and you need to do it because it's two layers of cardstock and this is how you cut it in two and now miracle or miracle when you pop it back on your box it will fit on your box you can actually use it just like single use like this is also very pretty if you have something nice in here but you slide it on and you have the perfect match on both sides and this is the miracle of this box and how it's done and I hope you have enjoyed this little explanation and this tutorial and um, you enjoy making your own box it's a great giftmas um, uh, package, like giftmas um, 
wrapping and whatever you want to give. Uh, I actually quite fancy um, this version as well, like just using only half of the sleeve. So you could make a second box and use this side of the sleeve for the second box. But then maybe you would place the stamp slightly different, maybe um, a bit below so that this piece doesn't get cut off. But um, never mind. I still like it. It looks very pretty. It's a very pretty um, box and easy to make. And, you know, even if you you could, depending on how wide you design your, your sleeve, you could actually make it uh, slightly shorter than your boxes so that if you want to leave a part open like this so people can see through oh there's some treat in here or whatever also with uh, on the back side with this it looks really nice because it's a very uh, contrasting color so many options um very good if if effect and uh, i hope you love this little project as much as i do this is the um, other one i did the other day and it holds this um, beautiful pencil that i make myself and as you can see it looks just great if you have several of them lying on your table as a decoration um, people will automatically um, go for it and have a look so please um, scroll down in the description box of this tutorial of this video tutorial to find the links to my blog to my facebook group i'm inviting you to join me um, if you haven't done so yet you'll find all the links there you find the link to my web shop where you can purchase all the stuff that i've used here the cardstock is called berry burst the stamp that was uh, flourishing phrases um, you get versamark ink pads as well as the clear um, embossing powder do not forget the embossing body which is really great it's filled with talcum and it's gonna um, Make sure that any grease or any traces uh, that could catch on your embossing powder is taken out before you actually heat emboss so you have the best possible result. And yeah, thanks for watching this and um, thank you for joining me today. Hope to see you soon again and bye and happy crafting.